All right, here we go. Hope everybody's doing great. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist, and we're gonna be doing some uh, a little painting demo right now. Uh, for those of you who are interested in checking this out, I'm gonna do a, a little uh, uh, portrait painting. So let's get started. Shouldn't take. It shouldn't take that much. Here we go. All right, let's see. Let's turn this up like that. Ah, oh, there we go. That's perfect. There you go. Okay, let's get this going. Now, the way I'm gonna do this, I apologize for the for the noise in the background. Uh, there's more people right now in my studio. Uh, my wife is watching some TV. I think it's just part of it right now, quarantine style. Uh, so, I'm going to uh, start this with with putting some some uh, a very simple design on this on this portrait. Okay, here we go. All right, it's going to start like this. Very very simple. Check it out. Look at that. It already is showing us what's going on right here. I like to approach it in a very simple way because, um, well, if if you mess up something simple, um, it doesn't feel as bad. <laughs> then, then if you're then if you're working on something and you mess up something very intricate, you know, so it's it doesn't it doesn't make you feel like like you did something horrible. Look at that. Very, very simple. Look at this. And again, I try not to overindulge with the brushes here, with the brush strokes. Very minimalist. Almost like I'm doing a charcoal. As a matter of fact, this is how I do my charcoal drawings. They're just, there's more movement usually on my charcoal drawings, but this is pretty much the way. So, check it out. Look at that. I'm gonna start out by putting some Very, very simple approach. Like I said, very simple approach. I know I say this word a lot, but uh, I try to get it in people's in people's mind so that when they're painting, they remember that it's not it's not that serious. They remember that word. Simple. This this dude talks about simple a lot. It may not be so easy, especially if you're starting out and you're creating work like this. It may not be so easy, but but, uh, but it's very, there you go, simple. <laughs> Look at that. Nothing is so important than to just enjoy the ride. Well, there's some very simple techniques here also to follow. For example, the upper lip doesn't receive as much light, so it's darker on the lower one. Now, none of, none of what I'm saying is always true. 
but it's true sometimes, and so it works. There's no such thing as always and ultimate truths, at least in this kind of deal. So look at this. There's her face. It's coming out with character also. So that's something very important for me, that the work has character. That, that you could almost see that the person is thinking something. It's not just, it's not just there, but the person is actually, uh, something is on their mind. Um, So they were able to express a feeling, right? You gotta be able to express some sort of feeling in this character. So that, so that it's alive. Too often when we paint stuff, the characters aren't really alive. The characters tend to be very stale, very lifeless, almost like Too perfect, in other words. There's no, there's no imperfections. I think imperfections create character. And so I try to not make them too perfect. And as a result, some people say that it's perfect, right? Some people, as a result, because I'm not looking to make it perfect. Some perfection some level of quote-unquote perfection pops out because of that. So I like the I like the hair, kind of like a very very light white like that for this for what I'm seeing right now so I think I'm gonna leave it like that kind of like a super trendy I guess I don't know type of hair platinum or I don't know if that's the word I don't want to mess it up because I don't know the word <laughs> I don't want to mess it up uh, what the, the trend is but it seems to me that it looks, it looks a little modern. And I just decided, I decided that on a whim right now. So it's not like this has been premeditated. Look at that. And since we went that way with the hair, 
I can uh, I can use a, a another color for the background that's also kind of make it pop, you know, to make it pop a little bit since we're playing already. I'm gonna use a really nice pink for the background. Look at this. It's my wife singing back there. She's listening to Prince today. I think it's the memory of Prince's uh, passing today. I'm listening to Purple Rain all morning. Uh, don't get me wrong, I think, I think Prince is a great musician. I don't know if I can handle pur purple rain ten times before noon. I'm gonna pronounce the background, kind of like outline. That's what I meant to say pronounce it, outline it, to even give it a more uh, modern, contemporary aesthetic. Minimalism plus bold, bold outlines um, almost always give a, a, a very contemporary feel. It doesn't matter how the bold, how, what color the bold, the outlines are, but if they're minimalist, uh, it gives it a very cool feel to it. And then... There we go. I'm gonna sign it up here. Let me show you guys what it looks like. There it is. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist and this is a little painting demo. By the way, I'm going to be auctioning this painting on eBay. And the auction is going to start at 99 cents. Okay. This is oil on stretch canvas. The sides aren't painted. This is what it looks like. Because Some people ask me, do you paint the sides? Of course I don't. I'm a... I'm a fine art artist, not a, not a decorator. Just saying, okay? So, please don't ask me that anymore. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Thank you so much. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.